How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Creator Crew community video. Now, as you can see, I've done some stuff. I've gotten three more platforms laid out on the leaf stairway. And I've laid out a template on the water surface for a um, another leaf structure. So that when I'm up there building it, I'll know where to place blocks. But... Before we get on to doing any of the business of the day, Twisted Gate, you know why I'm doing this. And that will be all. So, <laughs> um, on to the work at hand. So I've done this. I've got five total um, platforms. <laughs> I wonder if Black Beast in the chat there is talking about me. Is he? <laughs> um, it, it's a bit of an inside joke between me and Twisted Gate. Uh, but yeah, um, I've got five platforms here. And at this point, we're going to be going on to the uh, main structure. Or the, the, the main kind of leaf for this area of the build. There are going to be much bigger structures later on. But this is going to be... I think I might have my first structure here. My first actual building. Uh, we will see. Not a big building. Just something quite small. <laughs> you know what they say. The one who asks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been playing around with different blocks as well, and what I'm wondering is, do you think that the blue adobe here um, works instead of the um, limestone wall? I'm not talking about having this as... Um, a block I use on all of them, but just on some of them, like these larger platforms, I'm thinking maybe having them be blue adobe wall rather than white. So let me know what you think about that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a load up and go ahead with it and see what I think. Because currently it's, it's very homogenous and I'd like to get a little bit more colour going on. So I'm going to have a go. I think I'm going to end up needing a bit more than that, though. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need more ruddy canyon stone. And a lot more. Blue dye. I'm finding a lot... I'm having a lot of trouble getting blue dye in this world. So, um... Yeah, if anyone has any, that would be good. <laughs> um... There might be some in the central kind of community chests. Oh, I don't know what's happened to the water here, but I, I don't like taking from them from them right now. At least not while people are still getting set up. Maybe later on. But right now, I want to avoid taking that because it the way I see it, that's really for um kind of new people joining. Uh right, what if I go there? Yep, okay, cool. I don't know what has happened to I, I, I filled in this water, but it, I think I was getting some server lag when I was doing this. So yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the main stalk in white and then go halfway in the white and halfway in the blue and compare the two. So this is our platform. Of course, I'm going to have to make it reach the surface. So um, the way it works is we've got uh, the stems for these larger leaves are going to be like this. Just going up like that. And actually that reminds me I have done a silly thing here because this should not be here at this layer but only at the layer where the leaf is coming out. So yeah. So it's going to be like this. I'm making utter mess of the water here but I shall fix it another time. <laughs> oh, it's, um, yeah, it would be really good, especially for multiplayer worlds. I find this hits multiplayer worlds really hard is, um, like, 
the water gets completely ruined whenever you touch it. It's very hard to fix broken water. So let's, let's get this built up. See, I'm not sure if I have much space really for a build here, but I'm going to try have kind of a little hut now. Hmm, a few more blocks up because I want I want to have to travel up from there. And this looks a long way away, but don't worry, we get fairly close. Yeah, this this is high enough. This is a good height now to start having some real stuff happening. Okay, so as you can see down here, um, I'm going to have to craft more of this as well. Hopefully I have the resources. I am quite tired and have not prepared myself as efficiently as maybe I should have for the video. <laughs> um, let's go at... So yeah, this I, I decided this would be a better way to do this with this larger structure, at least until I've memorized a pattern, than um, checking a image out of game, which is what I was doing before. Just because I can actually look at it as I build and um, there won't be bits where I have to pause and things like that. So let's have a look. How's this doing? So yeah out to into the, the yep that's all correct cool and then we want to go forward a two sets like this and and forwards for another two sets yeah i hope uh, me building like this uh, largely on camera isn't too boring for you guys but um, again with these videos I've, I've decided with the creator crew ones I would kind of like to do them in this manner where I don't do a whole lot of stuff off camera just because uh, otherwise it would be very difficult for me to actually produce videos with any regularity at all which is why um, for example these videos have been able to be a lot more regular than um, the my main series because uh, especially right now my main series every video takes a surprising amount of work to get ready especially just because I'm trying to do a lot of building in the background to get the castle done um, so what I'm hoping is I can just I can get it done so that if I hop on and spend an hour or two building every day that I can produce <laughs> um, something about it every week until we get um, that build done. That's what I'm hoping. So this is what we've got here. Now what I'm thinking is I want it to have a little bit of a curve but not... There's no need for a huge one. But let's see. What do we think? What do we think? Left or right? Let me know guys. Um, oh, I've got a visitor. Hello, Hazen Oakhurst. Um, you're on camera. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Indeed you are. <laughs> Yep, if I'm if I'm up here building and you come over to um to say hi, there is a risk you'll be on camera. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's it's nice of you to visit. It's uh, it's always nice having visitors. But yeah, uh, so, so sorry about that. If you, but if if you approach uh, while I'm building, there there is at least a small chance that you'll be on camera. Um, because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is where I was placing those blocks, so I just need to place these back. Now, for going between these two, I'll most likely... Well, you know what? I could make a... slab staircase. Except... Oh yeah, I thought I had ended up with no slabs there. I thought that would be utterly typical of me. But no, I have managed 
to have slabs, so good me. Um, let's, and I will uh, be doing some stuff with underneath these, of course. Come on, rotate up. Be nice to me. And you're oriented differently, so let's fix you. Okay, cool. So what I'll do a bit of a kind of a a handrail along the side of these, of course. But um, for now, this will get us up here. Now the the tricky thing is with these, I've always had a lower platform to stand on for doing the curves, so I could build things down. This is going to be harder. I'm basically going to have to pillow up, but it's okay because I want it to be mostly um, stable. Just coming down from about here, I think. So let's hop down and just uh, pillow up, just like this. And just go like that. That is enough for this piece. And let's see, if we go down another block here. Whoops, I've gone a bit too high. So I'll place two here. And then if we come along here and go down yet another block, then we'll have this kind of dropping down right at the end and that's kind of the effect I want to have here I want to have a, a drooping tip to the leaf because what I'd love to have is a little waterfall coming off the end there so let's uh let's fly up if I can oh no it's not gonna let me jump that's one thing I wish you could get a jump out of water because if you get stranded in the middle of the ocean say if you're trying to fly over one and you make a mistake and you land that's it for you unless you can place a block down to hop off because uh, you can't get a jump. Let's... Okay. Die, Rockster. Okay. So, where are you? Yeah, here we are. So, here we have the lower section. And here we have the even lower section. And, of course, the even lower lower section. Now let's just uh, build over here like this. This bit should be fairly easy to do. We'll just come along and... Um, Imitate this one. Okay. Get out of the way, you there. I am really enjoying this build. It's very different from anything I've ever done before, and I think that's good. I think I needed to do something a little bit different. Okay, so come along, you. And I hope I'm talking enough. So I, I feel like I'm being very quiet, but it's because I'm I'm focusing on not making mistakes. Okay. So now we can go up like that. And boom, we've got this nice little droop towards the end. Okay, cool. Now, how many leaf blocks have we got? Or grass blocks, I should say. I am somewhat skeptical as to whether this is going to be enough, but we might as well see how many it will fill up. I'm very doubtful it will fill up the whole thing, though. It can be quite surprising just how many blocks it takes to fill a platform, as I learnt while making that spawning platform for the tutorial video. Um, God, that was a thousand blocks that was for a 33 by 33 platform, and the math, of course, makes it. You know, if you if you stop to think to do the math, of course, it makes sense. But um, when you look at it, it does not feel like a thousand blocks. It's, I guess it's just a psychology. It just doesn't feel like it should add up to that much. Okay, so I'm going to have to go and get some blocks, get a little bit more supplied, and I'll be back in a minute. 
Okay, so I grabbed a load of dirt so that I could start laying things out. And now it's time to put in some slabs. Oh, oh. Bye, Ink. Um, so what I'm going to try at first is just laying things in like this. I'm not sure if this is going to be too straight, though. Because it might be. Hmm. And in here, I don't think, I don't think that, um, oh, I already had a few of my inventory. I don't think it will spread to slabs, so I might, it might be a good idea just to do this at different levels so that things will spread, because I can't be certain. Um... I can't remember if the devs said it would spread. Okay, so let's get this in here. And boom. Okay, so now I've got a nice little curvature going down there. And we've got this nice, relatively flat area up here. Not a whole lot of space. We're never going to have much um, walking space on a build like this. But there we go. Let's get um let's get a side profile shot of this, shall we? Oh yeah, I like that curve. I like that curve. That looks very organic. Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I was I'm I'm surprised how much I like that. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. So yeah, that's really cool. Now the difficulty will be getting a stream of water behaving on um, slabs. It can be tough. I might have to introduce either um, four blocks on the edges or stairs. So, um, but I, I can deal with that when the time comes. Now the time, now it's time for a build. Just a small hut of some kind. Um, and it would be just, literally this is going to be just a place Pretty much for a bed. There's not going to be a whole lot going on here. So how about I put it going from here to here. And that gives me five blocks on the inside. That's one, two, three, four, five. And boom. So that would be the footprint. And see, even this tiny little build is actually taking up most of the space here. It's going to be, you know, a large part of the room taken up here. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to... Should I offset it, maybe? Because currently it's, like, directly in the middle. Let's have a look at that on the map. Hmm... Because I'm not sure I want it to be, like, so centrally built like that. Another option is I could always make it um, a bit narrower, but then it would be... It's going to be easier if I do this. Okay, so let's continue. And... Oh, I, I, see, I'm really tired today, unfortunately, and it's making me forget that I need to build blocks. <laughs> um, but luckily, I have, I have some stuff lying around. So let's see. Let's go of this and do these in the corners. So you can see this is really like a super tiny little hut on the inside. It's really not very big. It's a tiny little build, but it's going to it's going to serve purpose for now. Now let's get this guy upside down. And on here too. 
Um, I might end up not liking this little build once I build it, and I can always take it away again, but I want to I want to have somewhere to put a bed. <laughs> That's mainly really it. I, I want to have somewhere I can put a bed, so I can... I can... And then I'll feel like this is a, a, an actual home. And I might end up taking it away or repurposing it later on, but for now, this shall be my house. Let's get... So we've got those parts built. Now let's see. I'm thinking blue adobe roof, I think. Oh, wiring tool works again. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was Avila. I didn't... I wasn't going to say... Because I wasn't, like, utterly certain. But I was pretty sure it would be Avila building the recipe vault. He's usually the one to build really handy stuff like that. And yes, there are blue adobe stairs. Perfect. So what I'll do is I will just make all of these into them. It would be lovely to have um, coloured adobe uh, corner stairs. That would be really great. But, uh, unf unfortunately, they have not made it in the update quite yet. It would be great. So, while the rest of those are processing, I'll show you my idea. My idea is, um, to have slabs go around the outside like this. Um... Blue adobe slabs go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. <laughs> um, <laughs> two blue adobe slabs go round the outside, round the outside. Um, all the way around and do kind of a little mini dome in adobe. So it's quite a pale block compared to the white. So it's not a strong contrast, but there is a contrast there. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that. I'm liking the colours. Okay. So I'm going to need probably some more of this than I have. So again, I'm going to go and get some resources. And I'll be back to you. Okay, so. Got a few more blocks now. So let's... I um, do the second layer. I did the first layer off camera because I feel like I should, you know, I, I shouldn't make you sit through every single block being placed down. Now, we're going to go up like this for the first layer. Um, note that I'm leaving this one a bit lower. Or, you know what, alternatively, what I should maybe do is do that instead. Um, to make the water flow. And I might have to... Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, what that will work. Um, oh, I'm getting steam messages. Sorry, person. You will have to wait until I'm done. Okay, so now it's time to craft some stairs up. Oh. Ooh. I'm going to need some more wax, aren't I? I believe so. Ooh. Anyone got any wax they can spare? Let's... Let's see if someone comes to my aid. <laughs> um. Oh, Jen again, you're... That would be marvelous. You've res this is not the first time you've rescued me today, Jen. I I'm I, I'm really, really grateful. So let's just fill this in. And I might actually be able to get away without it. But still it will be really helpful for um blocks for the next parts of the build, because I use wax for everything. Um, oh yeah, of course, I will not have access to the corner stairs. I just went to craft corner stairs. 
just a moment after having talked about the shame that there will be no corner stairs. That is smart. Or rather, it isn't. <laughs> um, okay. So, the water will come down here. I'm going to eventually have it um, come from kind of above, but for now, for now, we don't need that. I am actually okay. Managed to stretch my resources. Oh, sorry. I, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to inconvenience you. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry guys, I'm chatting there. Um, it's good to be social with people. So, interesting. So, you're doing that. What if I... What if I put a block down behind you? Will that inspire you to move? Or if I put a block there, that will inspire you to move. Okay. So, perhaps what I should do is put a slab there and a slab there oh I should actually use the correct slab for the build so let's oops let's take these up and oh I tore off the wrong block oh no <laughs> uh, let's fix you quickly and there we go now I wish there was like a like a more textured um, slab, one that had kind of edges on it like this for the limestone. That would be really cool. Like maybe a you could call it a carved limestone slab or something like that. And further down, I think what I'm going to do is oh hello again. <laughs> um. Further down, what I think I'm going to do is just place four blocks instead of those. So, um, let's see. These should spread, at least eventually. And here, slabs. And, whoops, four blocks. And let's see what we do here. We'll just place these down, and from there on, it should govern itself. So let's see what it does, left to its own devices. Hmm. It's still not quite behaving. Okay. I may have to build out this a little bit. Just to uh, restrict its flow. And let's see. If I pull some blocks out of here... as well, I can top it up because it doesn't seem to like blowing far here. And it's gone to the side here as well. That's most interesting. Um, what I might do here is I could have some torches. So I have an excuse to place blocks here. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll have so, uh, some um, of my favourite torches there, but I'll have to go and get resources to make them of course. And let's put some stuff here. And of course it flows out. Let's see, I'm going to have to play around a little bit with it. Maybe I'll sink this down a little bit and have the water... Because it's coming over the side anyway. It, and I think the issue is I'm having it flow over slabs. So what I'll end up doing, I think, is I'll play around a little bit of the water flow here and get that fixed. Because <laughs> it's, it's not playing nice currently. But yeah, um... What we can do is get some work done on the build, at least. So let's place some blocks like that in here. And I have a door. And where are my blocks? Did I 
replace all of you guys. Oh no. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of building off camera, I think, uh, as I don't have any access to wax. And I told Jen I don't need it when I eventually I did. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. She's been really helpful today, helping me out of all sorts of blocks. So thank you, Jen. It's really great. Um, this is what I've got done so far. I'll be doing some work on this. And do a bit of decorative work as well. I'm leaning towards the blue adobe for the, wall, for the um, structure of the leaf here. But let me know what you think between um, limestone and blue adobe and I will choose but I'm think I think I'm leaning towards the blue adobe I think it contrasts better with the house and beyond there I think it's gonna be time to make another little stairway up to a structure over here which is going to be where um, the majority of my base is going to be this is just a little Kind of like a welcoming house. Over here, we're going to have a big, big structure. So, um, look forward to that. It's going to be pretty huge. Um, and it's going to be very awkward to build. <laughs> because it's going to involve diagonal leaves. Okay, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you would like to play on the server, there is a Discord for that as well. Um, join the Creator Crew Discord if you would like to have access to the world. You can find a link to that as well as to my personal Discord as well in the description of this video. And I also have a Patreon account. So if any of you out there are fantastic human beings and would like to support me, then there will be a link to that as well. So I hope you've been having a good job. Uh, <laughs> I'm chewing over my letters here. I hope you've been having a good time and watching me build when I have honestly just been rambling and um, kind of <laughs> not speaking all that much because I'm half asleep. But yeah, I hope you've had a good time anyway, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.